Hi, my name is Andrew Morrison. I'm a general contractor and I specialize in straw bale construction. Now, there are a lot of rumors out there about straw bale construction and what could go wrong and what is bound to go wrong. Now we've put together a short program here to kind of address some of those issues and let you know the truth behind what it's like to build with straw bales. Now some people will try to tell you that a straw bale house is extremely flammable and way too much of a risk in, in fire prone areas. It's actually not true. Straw bale homes have about three times the fire resistance of a common construction home. The idea is if you have a piece of paper and you set it on fire, it's going to burn. But if you put a phone book on top of that, it's going to put the fire out. The bales are like that phone book. They're so dense that there's no, not enough oxygen in them for them to burn. And couple that with the fact that you have an inch and a half or an inch and a quarter of plaster on either side of that wall and you have a very fire resistant structure. Now another thing that people talk about is rodents. They say, well, that's yeah, straw. You're going to have mice in there and you're going to have rats running around inside your walls. Ever been into a barn, you know that that's true. Well, in a barn that is true because the bales are stacked loosely and they don't have uh, tight joints in between them. However, when we get them into a wall, we pack them in very tightly together and there's no way for uh, rodents to get their way in through the, again, inch and a quarter to inch and a half of plaster. So it creates assembly that, that stops the mice from getting in and even if they were to get in past the plaster, they'd have nowhere to go running from one side to the other. Another common misconception about straw bale construction is that it's more at risk of water damage than a conventional home. And that's just outright not true. Any home that's not built well and has water leaking into it will be damaged by that process. Now it is true that straw does rot if it gets wet, there's no question about that. But so does wood and so does insulation and any other material that comes in contact with it that's not supposed to. Now, the difference between a straw bale house and a conventional house is that those of us who build with straw are very aware that we have to keep water out of our buildings. And we're known to build with large overhangs, uh, do a lot of work to keep splash from bouncing back up onto the building and flashing around windows and door openings. All of these items are high priority for a straw bale builder. So the likelihood of getting water damage in a straw bale house is actually quite low. As long as good design and good construction practices are used, it'll hold up for years. Which leads us to another misconception in that straw bale is a bad investment, that it won't last long. Now there are buildings that have been built directly on the ground out of straw that are still standing now 100 years old. These buildings, if built properly, will last just as long, if not longer, than a conventionally built home. 